Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this sampati watching sampat sam fix solution this is poco x slash nfc custom rom revis back with again new video this is an hyper os rom and there's a paper os guys actually if you go into my device section you can see here that's the paper os 1.0.1.0 monet project it is into detail information specifications and our version is 14 here paper os 3.0 based on 1.0.1.0 stable hyper os here uh, kernel user is 4.14.1 and 0 of kernel has been used this is the baseband version and security patch is around april first which is latest one which is really good and i am opted here 6 gb of extra virtual rom that i'll be showing you within a while this is the detail specifications and information this is how the settings panel looks like and this is typical home screen and this is the quick settings toggles what you can get similar to ios kind of style and this is the app drawer and we'll see the edit section in the uh, this one you get all these options here like ultra battery sir floating windows vibration reading mode if you want to add them you can drag and add them in the main screen just disable the vibration mode here this is the app drawer some of the apps are pre-installed like me canvas and this uh, remini lab continue here you can actually customize the control center the blur radius you can customize and control center style if i want to change it to to it uh, even in the poco f3 the me 11 x this things are not getting into change as of now but there are some customizations you can check out in the upcoming build these might work but as of now it's not working moment on volume bar icons title hide smart hub if you want to hide that will it work it's already hidden anyhow enable super volume up to 200 percent is also available here these are the things you need to continue using that status bar notification and lock screen again dynamic island ios style dynamic island anyhow this one is not going to work here as you can see even i will keep it silent mode it is showing here it have to show here uh, that is not working even though it's an hyper os based rom it's not working here unimportant features again you get some options here too these are the things you need to consider in this particular rom and there is again a wallpapers option you can use it as a daily driver here and these are the apps i am currently using guys uh, we'll show some results before that i want to show the camera application here how it is used and these are the options you get in the camera applications in the settings again you get all the options like picture quality up to super and other options are also pre-included in the video option there is a 4k 30 option is available no 60 fps option is not available here even in the ultra wide angle there is a 4k option but there is no 60 fps option in this particular rom guys anyhow audio zoom teleport mode and a camera subtitles frame rate flash aspect ratio everything is given in the in the photo mode again you get all this option if you want to use it as a daily trailer, you can definitely use it as a daily trailer for camera i'm saying and if you want to use gcam port you can use uh, arnobel gcam agc lmc many uh, ports are available as of now for this poco x slash nfc if you want to use them you can utilize them and there is a dialer here it's a me i'm in the hyper os dialer you will get proper video call support here and also if you make a call there is a call recording feature which will, which will not announce the other person that you're recording the call and note section is given here it's implemented and me canvas as i said before you also get this thing here this is very cool you can manually install from play store and me video is also installed coming to security application here as you can see it's a loaded application but still it's a miui based security application it's not hyper os guys keep these things in the mind and that's it we'll show some results here uh, First and foremost thing is you get once you reboot your system in the smartphone you get this kind of error here that's the one you need to keep in mind and this is the geekbench results what i got version 6.2.2 i'm using 757 is the single score 1880 is the multi-score links 4.14.190 pof kernel has been used in the gallery again you get all these options recognize text table protective watermark create pdf those options are given here and there's the anti to benchmark results 3 lakh 91 is the score what i got and 4.5 degrees centigrade is the temperature raise and five percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing and i'm using the version 10.2.4 anti to here 
and this is the read write split test with graphical and this is numerical and DRM information for some reason this device is not recognized and this is the internet speed I have 200 Mbps ATL fiber connection and CTS profile match getting failed and Play Store is also not certified and using payment applications might make you problem hence use magics modules guys uh, to make it get pass and me turbo charge support i mean 33 watt charging support is available this is the results what i got let's move into the settings and this is very simple and this is a paper is 3.0 based on hyper is 1.0.1 guys and you guys can see here in the home screen again you get some customizations here like ios kind of uh, navigation gestures is uh, sorry the recent apps only you get horizontal ios recent style yeah it is available as you can see it is working flawlessly here no options of adding here text in the home screen as well as app drawer i found even in the other device also with similar uh, custom rom anyhow you get all these extra features you can check out in terms of home screen there is a customization and fingerprint face unlock and uh, app lock are also pre-installed here let me show you the fingerprint unlock first yeah it is fast and accurate there is no option to select press or uh, touch here but as you can see the power options you also get uh, advanced restart buttons options here to get lock the screen i will try here any options are available yeah now as you can see it's how it working and the face unlock yeah, it's also quite fast and accurate here for some reason you can't lock the phone using this power button anyhow face unlock and fingerprint unlock is working fine no problem regarding that again other options like wallpapers and personalization again you get all the necessary features this lock screen customization is still available as you can see you can actually customize them you already know this there is a dedicated video for that you can check out in the description again effects you get all these options always on display is also given here you also get the timing to select always here no 10 seconds or anything like that that's cool in my opinion again you get all the necessary options here and wallpapers again there are some pre-installed wallpapers and these super wallpapers for some reason it will not getting to download here you need to manually install those apps then it will going to work fine and other wallpapers are included here and again if a person hold here you also get widgets options here as you can see categories and discover you will get those things you can add it into home screen and again if you want to edit the icon those options are also given here as you can see that's how it works like and typical settings panel as i said before again notification status bar again you get some thing customization here control center style you can actually select the center side and label icons if you want you can remove them also and safety and emergency these are reason specific but some of them are going to work and battery again you get four different modes here the battery life is also good here but just while playing the game it is getting a little bit warm that you need to uh, note the point here additional settings again you get all these options like language and input you will get languages here most of the languages are given you can pause the video and check out and some of them are going to miss here definitely and region also again you can check out here all the regions are available here you can pause and check out again your region is available or not plenty are given here as you can see most of the regions are included here in the additional settings again there are quick ball one handed mode clear speaker gesture shortcuts also you will get as you can see and uh, tap plus is also given here you can actually activate them floating windows is also working fine sidebar memory extension up to 6 gb what i said before second space account sync enterprise mode all these options are included here everything is working fine i haven't faced any issue just that place to certification need magics model support here overall let's say good rom let's say bgmi how it handles As you can see guys, you get smooth plus extreme here, no extreme plus and 90 plus in this particular paper is ROM and you also get some gaming modes, we will be explaining that as you can see, this is a gaming mode, you get performance mode you can enable, if you want to save some battery you can go to balance mode again, you also get bright and saturated feature, both you can applicable here 
and do not just remote you can take the screenshot and record the video you can even voice change your character here those options are included let's see actually it how it handles in this particular rom yeah this is how the volume panel you get and this is the quick settings toggles you get in this particular rom while on this horizontal i mean the vertical screen sorry horizontal screen there is a lag in the counter attack so again if i can notice the same and the device is also getting warm here a little bit while playing this games so, and we'll come back here in it came out and these are the recent apps everything is working fine in this particular rom again you need to note that the play store certification and the cts profile match getting failed you need to manually do that using magic's models once you do that you can definitely try to test daily data. this is partially recommended for some users who want to test this paper os 3.0 based on hyper os guys and whatsapp group for this particular device link is in the description and if you want to follow me on the social media those links are also in the description and again main thing is flashing method and what is the firmware is also given in the description check out that and this is sampath guys if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom comment down in the comment section there are plenty of alternative roms available for this poco x slash nfc you can definitely go through them Again guys, uh, we'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smelling. Bye-bye for now.